In the next problems we're going to do, uh, we have to deal with the inch ruler. And this can be a little bit confusing. There's all these little marks in here, and what do they mean? Well, the inches are the ones that are numbered. So one inch, two inch, three inches, etc. It's the small parts in between that can be troublesome for some people. They're fractions of an inch. Usually the biggest line, the longest one, is the half inch. And you can just sort of see that that makes sense. It, it cuts that inch in half. There's half on this side, half on that side. The next uh, longest line are going to be the quarter inch marks. And there's one here at one quarter inch. The half mark is actually also a quarter inch. It's two quarters. That simplifies to one half. And then a three quarters inch. And then one inch would be four quarters. And then if you go the next longest line, that is going to be your eighth inch. And this ruler actually goes down to sixteenth inches. But let's look at the eighth inch. So there's one eighth. Two eighths is the same as one quarter. Three eighths. 4 eighths is the same as 1 half, 5 eighths, 6 eighths is the same as 3 quarters, 7 eighths, and 8 eighths would be an inch. And then the tiniest ones would be sixteenths of an inch. And sometimes a ruler will have sixteenths and sometimes it will only go down to eighths. So it can be a little bit confusing. Let's look at a couple of problems. Okay. This first one says the arrow is pointing to which value on the ruler before. So we've got one, two, three. It's somewhere between three and four inches, so it's going to be three in some fraction. Then I have to determine what mark it's pointing to. It looks like it's this one right here. And, you know, between the three and the four, what I'd look for is that half inch mark first, and I think I've got that right here. It's the, the, the longest one. And then the next longest ones are the quarter inches, and this looks like one of the quarter inches. So I could start here with one quarter, two quarters, it's the same as one half, three quarters, and that's the mark that the arrow is pointing to. So this is three and three quarters inches. Let's try another one like that. This ruler is, uh, has fewer marks on it. You can see they haven't divided it down into eighths. It says, how long is the black strip to the nearest quarter inch? And we've got one, two, and this is somewhere between two and three, so it's going to be two inches and some you know, fraction of an inch. And it looks like, here's the half, these must be the quarters, and that's all the further it's divided into. So this is one quarter, two quarters is the same as one half, three quarters. So this is two and three quarters inch. And then, well, the other thing we need to know about is centimeters, because the rest of the world uses um, the metric system, even though we use the English system most of the time. Our rulers have centimeters usually on the other side from the inches, and um, actually this ruler is marked out in millimeters, 10, 20, 30, 40. 10 millimeters is one centimeter. So if you look on their ruler here, they have one centimeter, two centimeter. They've got these divided up into 10 chunks. Those are millimeters. And what they want us to do in this is uh, measure the length of this line segment, both in centimeters and in millimeters. Well, if I want to do this in centimeters, I've got one, two, three, and it looks like one, two, three, four millimeters. So I've got three centimeters, and this is actually going to be 4.4. It's four tenths. Because there are 10 millimeters in a centimeter, four of those millimeters are four tenths of a centimeter. So that's 3.4. If I want to put this in millimeters, each centimeter is 10, so I would count 10, 20, 30, one, two, three, four. So this would be 34 millimeters. Oops, and this one was centimeters. So those are some problems with the inch ruler and the centimeter ruler.